Investors. Joining me now is Patrick Sumner, Head of Commercial Property for Henderson Global Investors. Patrick, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Mark. Patrick, I mean, you would have heard Olivia's package there saying that developments are certainly being rolled out across the city here in London. Is that a reflection of the turnaround in the fortunes of the commercial property market and the economy itself? Well, I think it's a reflection of the turnaround in the financial services sector in London um, as much as anything else. There is a window of opportunity to, com to provide developments that come on stream in the next three years or so. And a very important factor is the expiry of a great number of leases that were uh, granted for 25 years back in the late 80s after the Big Bang back then. That is going to be a huge factor in demand for new office space that these uh, projects that we were talking about uh, are going to be in a very strong position to fill. I mean, you mentioned finance, and finance, of course, has been the key and is the key in both the commercial and the residential property industry. How easy is it right now, Patrick, to, you know, to obtain finance, to finance acquisitions and property developments? It's almost impossible to borrow money uh, to finance developments. There are very, very few sources of that. So you have to have a strong balance sheet yourself. You have to be able to essentially finance it internally. And it's no coincidence that both Land Securities and British Land have brought in 50% partners on the schemes that uh, your correspondent was talking about. So where, Patrick, are the best returns in, in commercial property right now? Not just in the UK, but where globally are the best returns to be found in commercial property? Well, I'm speaking to you from Singapore, um, and I would say that whatever's going on in London or the other developed world's financial centres, it's nothing compared to what's going on here. The amount of building, whether it's offices or residential or retail, here in um, Hong Kong, where they can, in China, is just extraordinary. Uh, and I would have thought that given the right land price, uh, you're going to see some pretty spectacular returns here in Asia. Not all parts of Asia, but certainly in the main financial centres, Singapore, uh, Hong Kong, uh, and to some extent, Shanghai. And there's no qualms there, Patrick, about the global economy slowing, the impact of austerity, the slowdown potentially in the US, the impact on the global economy. It doesn't seem as if developers there are too concerned about that. Well, I think the issue is more a question of containing growth. Uh, the GDP numbers for China still show 10% uh, year-on-year growth. And the measures that we're seeing imposed on the property market, especially residential, mm -hmm. are designed to sort of engineer some sort of soft landing or just slow down growth. It's, the, the problem is almost completely the opposite of what's going on in the developed economies. Patrick, thanks. Patrick Sumner there from Henderson Global speaking to us live from Singapore.